I love good, well-rounded characters and all, but jeez, get to the monster already. The 2016 short story by Gregory L. Norris. This 95-page book has a cool concept, but only decent execution. The plot. A small group of characters, along with a boatload more, are taking a ferry to get to their destination after a hurricane named Boris struck the small Massachusetts town of Cardigan. However, the small group eventually comes together and search for another character whom is sick in the head and try to attack an artist named Carrie after beheading his sister. Not Carrie's sister. The serial killer's sister. That makes sense now, right? Now, two brothers, Brandon and Aaron, a killer named Lester, and the artist, as before mentioned, Carrie, along with a very minor side character, a woman must survive five or so pages of actual creature horror. I won't lie, this is a well-written book with backstories for each of the characters, pretty much. Brandon and Aaron fight like two brothers, however, Brandon is obviously more mature, while Aaron is kind of a dick. Carly is a gay artist, whom actually kind of falls for Aaron even though Aaron is a douche canoe. Lester is clearly sick in the head, and is just trying to make his escape after brutally beheading his sister. The severed head in his mind actually mocks him in several scenes. More pages were used on that than the actual monster. I swear, five to at most eight pages are used for this octopus creature thing, with big teeth and pneumonia dripping tentacles. And in the end, there's like one death and four possible others. It isn't 100% clear. Trying to be fair to this book that is marketed as a monster horror story that focuses more on monstrous human nature isn't easy. More time with the monster and a higher body count was definitely needed. What we got wasn't satisfying. While it is well written with good characters and a decent yet prolonged build up, it still is more of a story of people trying to survive each other rather than trying to survive a sea monster. I don't need brotherly bickering, aging artist, or hallucination head to make this story work. Go ahead, add 20 more pages to the book, as long as it involved more monster action than I'd be sold. This was just like Blood Beach in the sense that we don't see the monster until the very end, but even Blood Beach had more action going on. Low for all I give, the fairy a 2 out of 5. This book takes place in my home state, Massachusetts. Still could have been better though. There's no brand new thing with me, uh... Lion Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Entertainment. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below and leave comments and subscribe!